Yeah. The left chair, it's your job. It is, it is, you are right. I didn't choose the right chair, the right chair chose me. <laughs> Alright, so last time these guys played, Shiny won, I believe, like 3 1 or something. Because like they played at the uh, Arcadian, correct? Yes. Gotcha. And I still think that at this current point, Shiny is uh, a little bit ahead of Lorenzo. We're gonna see what Lorenzo can do. Pretty solid combo game coming out so far. Bring it down a little bit more. I think next week we're just gonna have to move the mic to the other side of the store. I'm sorry I ever said put it on this side. I, I mean, yeah. That was my bad. Well, we get the door noise when we do that. I'd rather have the door noise Fair than the couch noise. That seems reasonable. Um, but Lorenzo kind of taking a lead right here. And also having a uh, match call out right there just kind of sucks too. Yeah. Uh, but you don't pick it up as much as dedicated commentary because it's directional. Still though, as we're saying this, both are kind of even in percents right now, just kind of slapping each other around. He got, you know, Lorenzo got the banana, did nothing with it, but still got the grab anyway, so it's all good. There Dude, it is. Like, Bayonet is such a scary character, just like, makes, like, if you whiff something, it's, you're gonna get punished. You have a ton of damage on you every time you whiff. Shiny oh, kind of waited man. a little too long on that. And that's that's it. a suck. No. Oh, good DI. Good DI. Hey, bring it down, guys. Take the volume down. Alright. Put the up throw. Thank you. Alright, right Lorenzo getting some, uh, getting some momentum back here. Puts these down tilts. Lorenzo really needs to steal out the stock super soon. He's Ron fishing for a lot of the smash packs. I mean, I feel like Witch Time is the le lesser punishable option because it yeah. gets less frames than a committed uh, smash attack up there. Yeah, that's it. I just don't think Ron Smash is that smart unless he's using it as a conditioning tool, maybe. Because I don't think so. I feel like it's he's kind of he was playing from behind, so I feel like the three smash attacks he threw out were kind of just like kind of desperation. Up. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's conditioning. He's just he's, he's gonna make Shiny think that he likes to throw out F Smash, and Shiny's gonna try to read that option, and he's just gonna get destroyed because of it. Fair enough. I believe. <laughs> the believer. Now in the matchup history, Lorenzo is probably only taken maybe even, what one set. He's, he's taken one set. One set, yeah. They've played I think like three times. Okay. And Lorenzo's won once, which was the which was the second to last time they played. So. But that I was mean, also before these... Lorenzo's big streak of like getting good wins too. That was yeah, really, that's oh, that really should be it. Um, but yeah, overall, like both of these players have come a long way in a relatively short time. Yes. Um, Lorenzo had more of a spike on like his skill level. Uh, bring it back down a little bit. Um, more of a like steep, like rapid incline, whereas yeah. Shiny had just like a very steady, gradual uh, increase. Um, but, I mean, both of these players, you know, they kind of started with some other characters in the game a little bit more so. Lorenzo I mean, was a Link man, and Shiny was a Zero Suit Samus man when they first started. Yep. Then Shiny started playing Sheik, Lorenzo started playing Zero Suit, and then even after that, then it was Bayonetta and Diddy, and ever since they've had these two characters, they've been doing a lot better. Yeah, they found found their top tier that helps them out um, with, the, uh, with overall options and things like that in-game. Alright, no, no, up. Duck Hunt. That's interesting. This is an interesting stage pick. Not really sure what he wants from this stage. I guess he could use the tree um, for stuff. I know, uh, for me, whenever I play against the Bandit, I almost always want to opt for uh, Final Destination, and this is like probably another really close pick to that, uh, because it forces Bandit's landing after a lot of her But yeah, this is Lorenzo's counter pick. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's actually interesting that he would opt to go to this stage. Yeah. Um, Unless he's really wanting to optimize and fight at the left-hand side of the stage, where he gets to utilize those uh, platforms uh, to reduce, you know, the overall air lag uh, from the combos. Might work. Not really sure. Maybe he just likes getting ducks. Could be. There are a lot of people who pick the stage just because they like playing duck hunt, and not actually playing the game. <laughs> like they're just they're like, you know, I'm gonna lose the set. I'm just gonna go ahead and go kill some ducks. 
I've never heard that before. You've never heard that I before? I have never heard of that before. I... And, and if so, then they're missing a lot of ducks. Yeah. <laughs> they're way down there. They're not at the 10,000 points that they need to be. I have, I have definitely heard several people do that, but those people also don't actually play this game, so it's probably not this. All right, that's fair enough. They, they're, you know, they're like melee players who enter Smash 4, and they're just like, I want to go to Duck Hunt, because it's funny. Oh, there's yeah. a bear. Alright, so... Just the jab in the corner. Free damage, 18%. Pretty that, good. That jab is just incredible. And, like, you can SD out of it, and it might save you 1 or 2%. Like, that's it. Lorenzo also used the banana. Oh, and gets the dive kick to boost kick. That's a lot of damage on Shiny right now. But even if he takes this game, Shiny still has a, a, a counter pick to go, so we'll see. Up tilt, doesn't kill yet. That was and close. The ceiling is like 1% uh, difference. Uh, the top last zone is 1% difference than uh, Final Destination, um, which is like the base um, last zone for pretty much every stage. You know, Smashville has the same ceiling as uh, FD. Oh, wow. Doesn't Dreamland also have the same ceiling? Yes. Yeah. Down tilt forward air. Down tilt comboing into every move you needed to. Pretty good move. And uh, I feel like Lorenzo like is gonna land another Witch Chris back air and it's gonna be the set. Or gonna be the game, but we'll see when that happens. They're trading a lot, that's really interesting. Just throwing out moves at each other. Oh no. Big commitment. Gets punished. Steals the banana. Uses the banana. There gets the go. grab. Oh. I guess Bandit also doesn't really have combo throws, but they're kind of positional throws. Uh, that kind of help out. Back air doesn't take it just Ooh, yet. Just good air dodge. If Shiny, up air, not if Shiny didn't fast fall through those platforms on the side, uh, he would have got hit by that up air. For sure. Because he, was the combination of fast falling and uh, air dodging made him not go through the or not land on the platform. Oh, this is a tough situation there for Lorenzo. He gets the grab, back throws him. That's not going to kill yet. Trying to gimp the barrel, but he doesn't go for it. Monkey flips. Oh, there They're it double is. Up air. So we're going to game three. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Shiny is gonna pick something with uh, with platforms, maybe. Leaf with the commentary. Ice will win this battle. Yeah, he's got a point. Yeah. Even though, uh... unless he's talking about something else, but it, it's very applicable to this particular game because it's ice versus ice. I think he means just like in general, like placings of the event. Sure, sure. All right. Yep. I said something on platforms, and he picked Dreamland, which I've known a few Bayonetta players like going to the stage, so... I don't know if Lorenzo is one of them, but I've met a few. I've, I've played Lorenzo on Battle for, uh, on Dreamland before. Uh, both Was it my, his choice? Or both, he... both things, yeah. Okay. We typically, you know, knowing him, he also likes Battlefield too, um, and so we've started on Battlefield almost every time I've had a match with Lorenzo. Yeah. I, I just don't know what it was about Duck Hunt, it just... Maybe it was a comfort pick, but he, he got through it. Now we're gonna try to see him get through with Dreamland. It's gonna be I difficult. Think, it's interesting. I think it might have to do like I don't think Bayonetta gets as many strings off of platforms as Diddy, so this is a generally a better stage I would think for Diddy because he gets like the up airs, third airs, possibly re grabs up to down tilts. I think it's just falling back down after stuff like this. It's you don't have to, you don't have to you're not in for like in fall as long, you know? You're not forced to throw out a move. You just kinda get to land on the platform earlier. Almost. Up smash, is that gonna be it? Oh fam, yes, it kills at 60. It. He did jab jab up smash, takes that stock, and now Lorenzo with a solid lead. Oh no, this could be the stock. Oh, he makes it back. He said his double jump, he was smart. And he's got the banana to ho hopefully help him here on stage. I mean, he's he... focusing on the B buttons. I mean, oh. Diddy can't just shield and throw a banana right now. Oh, snap. Red the air dodge. Oh, tries to extend that combo with banana, but uh, shiny DI in, avoiding it. Oh, wow. Big oh, damage. wow. Oh. Hits That's... him with the little foot combo. Shout out to Land Before Time. Oh, snap. The little <laughs> foot. Love that movie, dude. That was my all-time favorite when I was growing up. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Wait, which one? There's like nine uh, of them. Four, the original. Oh, okay. Dude, the original was the saddest one. Oh, God, but it was the best. Why do you think my life's so sad? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but right now, Lorenzo's on on his way to take this win. 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. As I said that, he was about to die. Don't jinx him, man. I don't have smash and neutral runs up. That's how I feel about that's, that. That's what you do in melee. Um <laughs> Consequently to what you don't say or didn't say. Grab the banana. Alright, use the banana. Oh. Alright, shield pressure. SDI oh. Alright, sends him off stage. It was his banana. Yeah, yeah, it's because he grabbed it and threw it. Possession of items matters. Especially in banana. All right. No. And the trips. No. He runs away. He runs away. <laughs> he brought in Lorenzo. Slime him out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Hop, short hop away from oh, that situation. No. Up, up throw. throw. And a good. Okay. Lands on the top platform. This is, I think, why they like this. This is why you enjoy Oh, oh that no. should be it. Oh, oh he's no, he still lives. Lorenzo going and eating through all the projectiles. All right, Shiny's one down tilt away from getting this, and Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's like one back, back air. Wall. Ooh, the Newt tried for the down tilt. He needed a turn around at that point. Even percents, both are gonna 114 die. 114. Oh my god, this is incredible. Oh, that might be it. Oh, the fudge. Oh, but he gets that. And Shiny man, oh almost man. flubbed it, but he takes it. Wow. He fist bumps and pops off and walks away. <laughs> that was close. That was 